I think this event is important because we're moving into an era of healthcare that relies on ICT and e-health specifically to be able to deliver, deliver more access, more available health services, more cost effectively and to more people. So something like this brings together the key players, the people who are making decisions, the people who are in the commercial side of it, the public sector, to showcase what it is that they're doing, what they want to do and some of the barriers to that to be able to address them. E-health is a very important subject for us as we see that it can be transformative in, um, in the health uh, situation within South Africa. Uh, we're also heavily involved in this measurement and accountability for health movement, where, um, which is a whole international framework for improving the measurements and accountability of health. We saw this would be a wonderful opportunity to try and integrate that work that we're doing with our e-health work and try to build up a whole national consensus on what we should be doing next around e-health, especially with the e-health strategy now starting to come under review and seeing what the next steps forward should be. I would like to welcome you all this morning to this um, wonderful event. Southern Africa, like, like the rest of the African continent, is in need of innovative approaches for enhancing the provision of adequate health care to its citizens. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the MRC, who we are and what our role is in terms of health and then just take you through some of the activities of the agency and then a couple of examples of what we're doing in terms of the e-health space. We very clearly understood that as a public sector hospital, we not only provide tertiary services, we are also responsible for academic functions, which includes research. There are many phases still to come. I think what we've done right now is just scratch the surface. Many things have been brought to the fore. I think we have a, a very good opportunity to start to use these tools to enable the healthcare providers to do a much better job of getting us to the goals that we've set for ourselves as a country and as a region as well. So really the next phase is to start to move ahead and to use these technologies that are available to us as an enabling mechanism. There are always opportunities for us to be better at what we're doing. So coming here today was giving us that platform to network with other people, like-minded colleagues, and learn from each other. This morning we start off with a panel that's going to talk about their reflections on yesterday, what the key messages were, and how those messages are relevant to moving forward and delivering, delivering impact in, in e-health. Today is going to be much more interactive and um, we'll, we'll engage you in, in lots of conversation as we get started. Yeah, the highest takeaways uh, from yesterday was the Freire Hospital colleagues because there was general improvement in how the services were being delivered uh, after they had implemented these, these basic IT uh, technological uh, uh, innovations. E-Health Alive offers us an opportunity in Africa to, take, to embrace ICT in the delivery of quality care. We believe this is the time to take advantage of e-health in improving and combating the things that are afflicting our people, the burden of disease, and making sure that our people are informed and they are making informed decisions for improved health of their well-being. Tangible takeaways were one of the key drivers behind putting together this event and we thought long and hard about how to do that. And there were a few sessions that were pitched specifically to help give people products to take, take home with them. One of them was the interoperability session. So we ran two really detailed interoperability sessions where people were able to understand the policies that shape interoperability, why it's in place, but also start 
looking under the hood and understanding what interoperability is all about and how you bring that into your initiative, how you bring that into your project. And there were people there that are already running really big e-health programs in South Africa that were, were facing challenges and, and struggling to understand certain key aspects of how they share information with other systems. Now, these sessions allowed them to, to tackle those, to unpack them, and, and then walk away with a better understanding and that they can take back into the organizations immediately and start sharing with colleagues. Thank you.